In Star City near Moscow, four ESA astronauts are training for four upcoming missions. It's an unusual scene, but a significant one, here in the birthplace of manned spaceflight. It's a serious time for Samantha Cristoforetti from Italy, who will be launched to the International Space Station at the end of November for a six-month stay. These final exams in Soyuz spacecraft operations mark the end of her training. Soon she'll be flying to orbit for real. But while Samantha readies herself for Baikonur, the tense last few months before launch have just begun for Andreas Mogensen. He'll shortly become the first Dane in space, flying to the ISS in September 2015. There's a rigorous training program to go through for the 11-day mission, starting with Russian classes. He'll also need a working knowledge of the space station. Star City is the only place to learn about the Russian modules, as well as being a great adventure for this new astronaut. Here in uh, Star City, I'm using most of my time in the Soyuz simulator together with my commander. Suddenly, it's starting to feel a lot more real, you know, when you're sitting in the Soyuz and you're really going through the whole launch and landing sequence. You can feel that you're, you're getting close to the date, and it's very, very exciting. Soon after Mogensen returns to Earth, Tim Peake will start a long-duration mission, blasting off from Baikonur in November 2015. Like his colleagues, he's taking language and theory classes at Star City and has learned how to put on the Sokul spacesuit in the cramped environment of the Soyuz orbital stage. Peake will be the first British astronaut to visit the ISS. His experience flying military aircraft has been useful in preparing for the upcoming mission. I find my background as a pilot very helpful. Actually, when you jump in the Soyuz simulator behind me, things are very similar. You follow your board documentation, you practice for off nominal situations, and you work as a team, work as a crew, just like you would on board an aircraft. Thomas Pesquet is the youngest member of the European Astronaut Corps. He's also in training for a long duration mission to the station, scheduled for 2016. It takes many hours trapped in the tiny seats of the Soyuz simulator to learn the intricacies of this tried and tested spacecraft. But the French astronaut is just happy to be learning new skills at this historic training center. The training as an astronaut in itself is already rewarding. I mean, it's already the dream job. Uh, and even better, it gets you to a flight in the end. So there's no time to, uh, to be bored. There's, no time to think too much about what you're doing. Every day you're busy, every day is a good day, and that's going to continue until the flight. The road to Baikonur is long and hard, and this fastidious training at Star City is just part of the journey. But the rewards are many, and by adapting to their new careers, ESA's latest generation of astronauts will earn a place on board the first international laboratory in space where they'll gather new data and spaceflight knowledge for ESA.